Hello, everyone. Good evening. How's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Subnautica, shall we? All right. Hey, hey, Brew. Good evening, my friend. Yes, I am streaming on Sunday, and here we are. And I'm streaming Subnautica, and I'm feeling great about it. Um, I'm just going to get my bearings and see what we've got going on here. So what we did last time on stream was we traveled part of the way to the ship. The core had exploded, and we are in the business of trying to maybe find some new blueprints or technology or survivors or whatever in the ship we have a radiation suit helmet and gloves i have a high capacity o2 tank and i've got a propulsion cannon a sea glide um my usual tools flashlight scanner fire extinguisher repair tool flare knife got a bunch of water and a bunch of first aid kits now what we ended up finding on the way there was a escape pod that had been completely abandoned, but there was a PDA inside. And so this is, we have the radio broadcasting a ship that's in the nearby system, I guess. Um, and it might try to rescue us, but no one's broadcasting back. And then we also have received some cross chatter from LifePod3. Um, yeah, Brew, you're like me then, my friend, where, you know, I only played this game one other time before and only played for about an hour. And already I'm further than I've ever been. So this is all completely new. And everyone has recommended this, friends in real life, friends on the channel. And so I'm like, I'm diving in, literally. I mean, that's a good pun for this game. I am diving in. Now, what's cool is this game has just a ridiculous amount of lore that's codified into this data bank that you build up over time through your PDA. And so one of the things that we discovered was this creature decoy. It says, this advanced deployable is a catch-all solution for mimicking the behavior of a living creature for the purposes of scientific research or predator evasion. So it seems like the game is giving me a bit of information, you know, like this is how you use this. And so... It's saying you can use this to get away from a scary predator, but you can also use this maybe to distract an enemy. I don't know, enemy is the right word, but just another life form long enough so that you can use your scanner on it. Um, it says it vibrates, cycles air and water, and sends out randomized high-frequency sound waves to emulate a living organism. It attracts predators of all kind, but it has a limited lifespan. Jiggle juice. That is a great question, my friend. It is an age-old question. I would say, be nice, friendly, respectful, positive, and be yourself. And be complimentary. And just see how it goes. Uh, but I've been out of the game for a while, so my advice might not be the best. But I think that usually is a good baseline. I also got this propulsion cannon, and it allows... It's kind of like the gravity gun from Half-Life 2, so it's like you can pull stuff in and then shoot it. Um, hey, hey! Super game. What's up, my friend? How you doing? You said you like her cape? There you go, Jiggle Juice. Now you're doing it. Keep the compliments flowing. 
And this might be a way that I can fight some of the bigger enemies by, like, pulling in a rock or something and shooting it at them. But I don't know. I haven't tried that in practice. I'm just kind of, like, theorizing on how I might use these technologies. And that's really what makes a great survival game is where um, you get to, like, try through trial and error and exploration, experimentation, and figure out what in God's name you're doing, where you are, what you're supposed to be doing, what works, what doesn't, what's good, what's bad. And here we are. Neo. Hello. Good evening, my friend. How you doing? Three days till game night and this coming Friday, your 31st birthday super game? Oh my goodness. Well, happy early birthday. Congratulations. That's awesome. Um, all right, and then we picked up some, uh, these are just things I didn't look at, wreckage, so one time I might just read all of this information, um, to get some more feedback, but right now, I think I'm good, I'm gonna keep exploring, now I'm gonna dump this, uh, tiger plant seed, in one of my storage containers. I don't think I need this right now. Wow, Neo. I can understand that. I had to upgrade my PC because it wasn't running a lot of stuff. And it was laborious. So let's have some fun and play some Subnautica. Hopefully that will be a good cure for your boredom. Neo, look at this nighttime air. I can breathe it in. It's a little salty. Um, and I like that these... I don't know what these fish are. They seem to attach themselves uh, to your ship. Oh, it's called a sky ray. Ooh, I'm scanning it. Awesome. And I don't know if I can, like, use my knife on them or something like that, but whatever. I also want to make sure... Yeah, the radio has a signal. Let's see what we got. Just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I bet I you didn't did. Know how bad? How many of you? I, I didn't know. Okay. We're now en route to your location. Good. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. Okay. Thank God. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR, and I blew it. What? It's a bad option, all right. But so are all the others. Who's saying this? What was that? Where did that come from? Exactly, Neo. I do need to experiment. Now, wait a minute. So, I I don't want time to pass too much, so I kind of pause the game when I want to talk. Um, but we heard from the ship that's nearby, and they are going to come rescue us. They, um, they might not have heard from us, but they know that we had a massive accident. And so, you know, at first he was irritated, and like, oh, it's just some phony distress call, whatever. And then now he realizes there's like a, a tragedy that has occurred and they're going to come bail us out. But it's going to take them a while. And then now I heard somebody's voice say, what did you expect? I've never landed anything this big except in VR. So what, the captain is making apologies? I don't know where it's coming from. Hey, hey, Crab, good evening. How you doing? Max Plank, what's up? How you doing? Good to see you. All right. So we've got some more info. And do I have anything I want to fabricate? Mm, no. Nothing new. I mean, I can make this floating air pump, but I don't really see a reason to do that. I can make a grav trap. Let's make one of these grav traps. I don't have one yet. Let's just do this. Again, this is like what Neo was just talking about with experimentation. I don't know what I'm doing with the grab trap, but I've got it. And so we can... I don't know if like you can fish with this, or if it's good for research, or what the deal is. Oh, I see, Super Game. So it was just somebody in the background of the... Um, the rescuing ship talking 
in some like mock voice of our pilot making fun of their inability to fly the ship properly, which is in poor taste given the fact that um, the ship crashed and we had massive people die. Like, I mean, we, we had, this is a, a unparalleled disaster and they are just mocking the pilot who probably died. So, good for them. Alright, let's dive in the water. I have to say, it feels really good diving in the water. Oh, here's our coral that we tried to save. That's funny. Um, this is ores. This is titanium. This is random, but I think it's full. Let me see what's over here. Oh, this is just full of titanium. I'm going to need to make some more storage lockers then, I think. Oh, no, this is good. This is my sulfur storage. I'm just going to sneak this in there and be fine with it, honestly. And I can dump some of this other stuff in here, too. Whatever. I just don't want to be overloaded as I go exploring. It is, yeah, <laughs> that might be the case, Brew. All right. So let me just ask you guys. I Hopefully, the... Um, the levels are good. That the volume is okay on the game and me. And you can hear everything reasonably. I'm going to drink some water. And drink some more water. And it looks like I actually need some food. It's okay, Neo. Perfect. Thank you, my friend. Alright, so... Let me try to use this... Um, near some fish and see if I can, like do some grade A fishing. Alright. Let's see how this grav trap works. Uh, whoops. Alright, well, I didn't mean to do that, but here we go. I'm gonna put it right there. And I'm gonna see what happens. And oh my god. That, that fish is like stuck on it. Stalker. Stalker got stuck. Well, I can scan it, at least. No, I'm trying to scan. Oh, fine. Oxygen. Schmoxygen. Oh, my God, Brew. 1,300. That's a lot. Oh, I see Super Game. So he's not making fun. He's just saying it's it's hard to do anyway. Okay. Stalker, we are going to get you, dude. We're getting you. Got him. All right, Grab Trap. Looks like it has... Oh. I didn't have the boomerang scanned? This thing is great for scanning stuff. Now, I get it that you're going to be, like, trying to attack me, Stalker Man, but you shouldn't. And I, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, pull in something. I'm going to try to blast this Stalker and see what happens. Nah, that didn't work. Give me this metal. Ah, now nah, the Grav Trap's got it. Oh, did we kill it? Nah, we didn't kill it. Okay. I was excited for a second. Whatever, Stalker. I'm getting some fish. This grab trap is legit. It's like the best way to fish. I mean, I'm sure there's better ways, but this is pretty good right now. I'm getting all kinds of cool fish. I will eat like a king tonight. The stalker is eating a lot of my fish. <laughs> you don't want to get rid of your elite soldiers? I like it. It's time to get rid of the worst. The very worst. Alright, the Gary fish is bad. We we understand that. But the boomerang, good. Good. 
I hope it's jaded super game. I don't want any kind of mean spiritedness. Although I, I'll take whatever I can get. We need rescued here. Uh, let's see. So what else do I want on my quick bar? Probably an a knife. Actually, my flashlight will be good. And then let me eat this, and then this, and then this, and then that, and then we're good, like food wise. And then drink that. There we go. <coughs> now, excuse me. I feel good, and I'm ready to go out again. I want to check my grav trap and see what that thing is still doing. Is it, like, just still floating around being awesome? There it is. I don't know how long its battery lasts, but this thing is great. I'm going to pick it up. Hey, hey. Yarl, what's up, my friend? Sea shanties would be great. I'll take them. All right, I'm going to go up and locate the ship. And that it's not that way. It is that way. All right, here we go, everybody. We're using our super speed device. And we are swimming. Here's the big guys. <laughs> there you go, super game. I like it. What do you do with a drunken sailor? I won't do that again, but it's a good chanty. All right, these are big guys. Hello, big guys. How are you? All right. Man, it's creepy when you can't really see in the water. I'll tell you that much. Oh, my God. Some of these underwater atmospheric sounds are really disturbing. All right, this is the escape pod up here that I found, I believe. So let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. We're on the right path. I'm going to go a little further this time. There you go. Wow, you're a real lexicon of uh, sea shanties, Jarl. That's awesome. Oh my god. Why is it shaking? Oh no, I gotta contain it. What? What do you mean devastating effect? Uh oh. I gotta go up. I need some air. I need to fix the... Whatever is wrong with the Aurora, but I don't know if I can. Oh. Whoa. This is ridiculous. Oh, there's a place to walk. <laughs> oh my gosh, what are these robot crabs? They're attacking me. They're coming at me. What is this? What kind of crabs are you? Evil. Evil crabs? Alright, we got bad crabs here. Alright, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to shoot crab... This is crab on crab violence. I apologize. Look away if you don't want to see crab on crab violence, but it's all I can do. Get out. Oh my, the power on my gun is running out really quickly. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's scan this desk. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm scanning stuff. A desk. We can now make a desk. Um, let, me, let me get this cave crawler scanned in. Any research, I feel like I'm doing a good job. The shaking ship is not encouraging. So, it looks like I can't jump. Like, I'm, I'm outside of the ship, but I... There is there's no jump button? Is that what's going on here? Alright.
You can jump? Okay, let me figure out what button it is on the controller. Um, it's not circle. Oh, it's triangle. Thank you. Okay, great. I'm excited now. I can jump, everybody. I can do it. Oh, my God. This crab. Look, crab. I've had it up to here. You're dead. And that's what you get. I'm going to try to clear this doorway. I don't know if I can. With, like, my little gravity man. Oh, it's... All right, yep. All right, I'm just going to release it. It's running out of power. I'm pushing square. I'm charging it. Um, I don't think I have a battery handy. Okay. I'm out of power on this thing, but I did clear the pathway. So that's kind of good. But now I'm walking into flames. Oh, they give you a fire extinguisher just in case you didn't have one. But, oh, I have my own. And I'm going to use my own. I knew there was a reason we had a fire extinguisher, people. We've, well. There we go. Flames out. Um, what's in the supply crate? Oh, it's a battery. Was that what that was? Yes. Um... Okay, perfect. So I, I, I definitely want to charge um, my battery here for my pickup stuff thing. My, that's the technical term for the propulsion cannon. Yeah. Oh my god, that little fire! Come on now. All right, I'm in a. Ooh, oh boy. Okay, so I'm in this interior space, and we can go down here. Now, there's horrifying electricity shooting at me. I don't know if I can use the repair tool on that or not. And I also don't know if it's a good idea to go in here. Like, I feel like I'm going to die really quickly by trying to explore this place, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, okay, so these are blocking more of the path, but I can just swim around it. Let me get the scanner out. I'm looking for any kind of blueprint, but I don't see any inside these containers. What is this? It needs some kind of password. Oh, I don't know the password. Did I find this password? It, I need to figure this out. Maybe I need to, uh, Explore somewhere else. Ooh. That's right, Brew. That's what keeps me motivated, is the research possibilities. I am thinking only of the research. Um... I can't jump when I'm in the water very well. I wonder if, if I can jump over to this part of the ship. Man, it doesn't look like it's... Nah, that's not happening. I might be stuck, for all I know. Okay. That's a great question. What was I on this ship? Probably the, the cook... I was the lead fabricator. That makes sense, you know. Chief fabricating officer. <laughs> All right. Um, let me go back down. And let me see. I've got my research. Or, I'm sorry. Here we go. I have the repair tool. Let me use this. Let me see if I can repair this. Like, is that what you use on Death Wire, or is Death Wire just gonna kill ya? Alright, nothing going on here. I really should be careful of electricity. 
Yeah, I feel trauma all over the place. I feel... Oh, here's a PDA. Lab access. Oh, I found the door code. 6483. There we go. Now we're playing a proper game. This is like... Uh, there's so many games that do this. I love this convention where, you know, you need a password for something and it's just lying around right next to the place you need to use it. It's perfect. All right, we got it. Um, let me look at that again. Was it 6483? Yeah, all right, let's do this. Six. Oh, I got the first number right just by guessing. Ingenious. All right. Four. Eight. Uh, three. We're in. Okay. Now, I have no idea what's going on. I'm just... Oh, my scanner is no longer on my list here. I'm just going to try to not run out of air while I uh, ogle everything. Oh, counter. Scan it get that boom hot research data terminal oh my repulsion oh it updated my propulsion cannon blueprint I don't know what that means but it sounds good hey hey JR good evening so good to see you I, I hear you, Brew. I'm with you. Um, oh, it said repulsion cannon. So now I can make propulsion and repulsion? Is that what's going on, Max Planck? It does seem like a suspicious lack of bodies, Brew. That's a good point. It's going great, JR. Thank you for asking. I'm underwater at the moment. Oh, your O2 is ticking away. I got to go up for air while I investigate this. Okay, so I want to look at the blueprints that I just got and look at, let's see, it would be under equipment? No, tools. Yes, so now the propulsion cannon has been updated, maybe? I don't know. It said something about that particular technology getting changed, so... Oops, wrong way. Oh, God. Away from the electricity. Oh, perfect, JR. Yeah, I love it, too, and I'm really glad to be playing it. I like your theory, Super Game, and I'm really excited to see if we get to find out more. Um, and I think we will. Obviously, as the game goes on. Man, swimming around this ship is a little... Oh, another PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Perfect. We got some water. What's this robot arm? It looks awesome. I want this. I want to build that and have that attached to me. Large sample flask. All right, whatever. Um, is it big? Is it taking up a lot of space in my inventory, this large sample flask? No, it's not too bad. Uh, what was that? Microscope, not functional. All right, whatever. Sample analyzer, not functional. I'm taking everything. I don't care. I'll take it. What do I got? How's my inventory? It looks okay. Let's take a drink of water. Man, we get... I'll tell you what. You get really thirsty in this business. And hungry. Max Planck, I really appreciate that. And I just want to iterate that... Um, for everyone. Gameplay tips are 100% welcome. And 
answering my questions are cool, but for the most part, I'm new to the game, so we're going to keep the story and the plot and the, the lore of the game spoiler-free uh, if we can, because I'd like to experience it all for the first time. Um, but I love that you guys love the game and can help me with any questions I have. That is awesome. Uh, my oh, my oxygen's low. I gotta go out before I keep going. I should have brought some cheeseburgers. What was I thinking? The more I play it, Max Planck and everyone, the more I enjoy it. Oh, I can't, this is how you get around the... Can I use my repair tool on this? Not really. Sealed door. Cut open to access. See, I don't have the laser cutter. So I can't really get past this, can I? And I haven't found the blueprints for it either. So I think it's probably smart for me to look around but maybe head back. I'm making really good... Pro I'm going to take these sample flasks. You know it. Whatever they do, I don't know, but... Doing science is always good. The ship rumbling around is very unsettling. Let's see. Okay. And I can also uh, consult the PDAs that I acquired. All right, here we go. So let me look at these PDAs. So I got, uh, here we go. Data bank corruption was detected yeah. on your PDA. Your technology blueprints have been updated. It did say, you're right. It says repulsion cannon. All right. So I found a public document called, What Can We Learn from the Hive Mind of Strader the Sixth? How are the individuals which make up a hive mind to be categorized? Are they merely dumb components of the larger intelligent organism, or is the larger mind merely a product of the independent organisms? Can it be both? What are we talking about? Hive mind? Uh, we defined... I mean, like, is that what we see on this planet, or is that what they were studying on this ship? Let's find out. Hey, march around. What's up? Oh, I'm with you, March Around, 100%. Um, I don't like scuba diving deep in, in really deep water either. It's It frightens me. But I'm able to play this game so far okay. But it does, it does genuinely scare me at times. Oh, there are some bugs, so save now and then. Oh, good point. Let me save it then. Um, just in case. Okay, uh, good call. We defined organisms by their traits, but find invariably that these traits depend on those of their environment. The concept of a tadpole is meaningless without the concept of the frog it will develop into. The idea of predator is empty without an understanding of its prey. Not really, but it's just incomplete. This begs the question, if we define everything by reference to everything else... What have we actually explained? Right, which is why most people don't explain things by reference to everything else exclusively. An illustrative experiment was recently performed on the hive mind colony discovered on Strader the Sixth. A device was placed outside the nest which would electrocute individuals approaching it. Great! That, that seems like a good experiment. An ant colony would have lost many individual before a basic danger signal was successfully communicated between them, resulting in learned avoidance of the device, successful but costly. The Strader the Sixth colony quickly formed into two factions. One attempted to move the device by brute force, sacrificing individuals as they did so. The second attempted to cover the device in sand. These two goals being mutually exclusive, a fight ensued. The first faction was beaten in virtue of their reduced numbers. The device was safely buried, and the survivors called a truce. 
From the perspective of the individuals, this experience must have been horrific. From the perspective of the hive mind, a nagging problem had been overcome with the most effective solution. Which perspective is the correct one? Wow. This is getting into some philosophical business. Um, I know, Brew. The shakes are upsetting. So... I'm going to look around before I read the rest of that, but it looks like they were studying ant experiments to learn about hive mind philosophies, which that's cool. Um, but that kind of reading right now, ooh, what's this over here? Oh no, it's just one of these lights, but there's more stuff to explore. I can walk further on the ship. Warning. Ship structural integrity is low. That's bad. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Yeah. Exploration is conducted at your own risk. It did say that. I need laser cutters. Interesting, Jarl. That's a great point. So... Less scary than Darkest Dungeon, but still disturbing. Uh-oh. Look. Don't mess with me. I'm going to put you in the fire. I'm going to cook you in the flames. You're in the flames. Don't mess with me. All right. Uh, can I climb this? Sort of? Not really. Okay. Let's keep going up. I'm ignoring all warnings about the structural integrity, by the way, and probably going to die. Jarl, I really don't want to see any tentacled monsters at the moment. The crabs are... unsettling enough. All right, they're coming at me. I'm just gonna run past them or try to run. I don't have enough. Scans show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain human tissues. What? What are we talking about? Oh, I didn't get that water in the supply case. Jr. Thank you. I got. I better go back and get that. Thank you for clarifying. Yeah, I think you're right about that, Jarl. So much of Lovecraft is like these stories of exploration, but they're usually filled with just absolute horror. And most of the time in the Lovecraft stories that I've read, you're punished every time you explore the unknown by un like awakening forces that you can't control or understand. Uh, and it's quite disturbing. So that note just said that life forms had human tissue in their uh digestive tracts and i'm do they mean the crabs or do they mean something even worse i don't know oh my god march around that's a good point there's no bodies because they've been eaten by these crabs or something else now it's getting scary i don't really have a good weapon here it's not like i'm playing doom and i can just switch you know to my rocket launcher i don't have anything yeah that's the thing that scares me yeah the spiders do seem mechanical you're right they just attack you but they don't have a digestive tract so that's that's even worse brew i don't want something scarier than the spiders right now i'm rolling in here naked i don't even i have a knife that's all i've got All right, let's try to go... Can I get in through here? Maybe? Uh-oh. Huh? All right, let's... Uh... Nah, that's not going to get put out. Like, you can tell sometimes which fires you can put out and which you can't. And that seemed like a... 
you ain't putting that fire out kind of deal. Oh, God. What was... What hit me? I didn't think I was that close to the flames. Mm. I don't think I can go that way. I'm looking for some other things that I can do. But... Nah, this ain't it. I can do better. Yes. Molten metal. Yeah, that'll do it, won't it, Brew? No, the big fish are scary, Neo. Without question. I don't like them. Alright, let's go this way. I can't really go this way. Doesn't want me to. Oops. Hmm. Ow! I've been stabbed. Oh, I can scan this light. Okay, let's do that. The crabs don't do that much damage. Blueprints, floodlight, perfect. But it's adding up, and I didn't... I have first aid kits, I guess. I could just use those. Yeah, that's right. Boy, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I agree, Jarl. Oh, JR was right. Water. Water back there. All right, let's let's uh let's patch ourselves up and then let's drink. And then I should have brought some food. Might have to go back home just to eat. Or I can use my trap, my grab trap, and just catch some fish and eat them raw, but I don't know how wise that is. You know, the only place to, that this game seems to suffer is doing this exploration of the ship. Like, the walking around, traversing the environment of the ship when you're out of water seems a little clunkier than the underwater aspects like I'm having a hard time figuring out where I can and can't go on the ship itself oh man no 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 No. Can I not kill these things? It's the fins? Yeah, Max Plague. That's actually a great point. I'm walking around wearing flippers. I should have taken those off. I know. I'm like, oh, they got me. But to be honest... Yeah... You can't just eat those or pick them up, so. But they don't do that much damage, so I'm kind of like, they're just an annoyance more than any. Oh, no. In the water, that's not what I want to see. All right, let's keep going over this way. Okay. How are we doing? Oh, can't go up there. Uh, okay. God. Ooh, it's so scary how deep that is. Boo. Sometimes games just give me the shivers, and this game just gave me the shivers. Like, I have, uh, some fear of heights sometimes, and even in a game... The heights can frighten me, and in this case, it's the depths. It's the depths that just are messing me up right now. Just seeing down into the bottom of this ship as it goes underwater is really disturbing. Alright. It's filled with crabs. Uh, 
Uh, okay. I'm gonna get my, uh, sea glide back out. Swim a little bit faster. I'm looking for stuff that I can scan, perhaps. Now, is this just back to where I was before? Yeah, it is. All right, well, I kind of looped back around there. I don't have the uh, rebreather or whatever it is that helps you when you're below 100 meters. So, I don't want to go too deep. Oh, what's in here? Anything? Empty. Right now, I think top priority is finding the laser cutter. Alright. Everybody, I'm going to go back to the ship. And the reason I'm going back to the ship is because... Um, my food is running low, and I want to offload this lab equipment that I've located. I don't think I need it. Let's get these going. Yeah, see, these big things are pretty much like, you know, tentacled alien Lovecraftian nightmares, but they don't appear immediately threatening. I mean, which is good. And they've got, like, cool stuff on their back. Ow. Break that barnacle. Break it. Oh my god, what is getting me now? What was that? What was attacking me? Oh, that, this plant. Death plant, that's right. I forgot about death plant. There's like, the plant that shoots you on top. Here we go. Give me that fish. Alright, I'm doing it. I'm dropping my... My grab trap. Let's pick them up. Let's do some high-level fishing. I love this. Love it. This is, like, one of the best pieces of technology that I've got at the moment. It's... Oh, I need to scan this guy. Cool. Gary Fish. Let's get him. Got it. Inventory full. I filled up my inventory with food. That's how well we're doing. 